Hi bio readers, I am Nana and we are going to discuss the sexual reproduction in flowering plant. We will do it in 11 consecutive videos. So be with me, let's start. To know the sexual reproduction in plant, we have to know the structure of sexual organ of plant that is flower. So these are corolla, calyx and this is androsium and this is, this is gynosium. Androsium and gynosium are the essential one. Essential for sexual reproduction. And these are accessory. So they help in their sexual reproduction but androsium and gynosium are the essential part of flower which includes in the reproduction which uh, carries the sexual reproduction so androsium is the male part and gynosium is female part now just so whenever these four parts are present in a flower then the flower is considered as complete flower and if any one of this is absent or two of these is absent in any flower then those are incomplete flower so there is a clear idea between complete flower and incomplete flower those have four part is complete and any one or two is absent then it is incomplete so the main part consists of filament part and anther part. Anther may be of different structure and typically it is drawn as it is and inside the anther there are numerous pollen. These are the pollen grains. They are arranged inside the anther. And it contains the male gametes. Pollen contains the male gamete. Now female part. The female part consists of stigma, style, and ovary. The whole part is known as gynosium and it is the female part of flower. Here they in the ovary they contain the ovule and it contains the female gamete. Here the stigma, it is the receptor of pollen, the male part. And here pollen lands and they, with the tube, they fertilize this ovule. So later we will discuss the uh, process of reproduction in plant. 